everybody's here. It's like a party, no? Yes, maybe. I don't know. Let's get started, okay? Come on. Welcome back to the laboratory. As before, all you have to do is pick and click. Library. Compound microscope. Electron microscope. You have entered the world of the microscope. Would you like to help me build the microscope? Click whichever you like. If you want to see something that's very small, you have to have a special device. This device is called a microscope, and it allows us to see things that we could never see without it, like cells in our blood or little microscopic animals that live in your eyelashes. The creation of the first microscope is shrouded in mystery. Many historians believe that Galileo, or the Dutch spectacle manufacturers Hans and Zacharias Janssen, invented the microscope around the year 1590. The microscope is based on the principle of a magnifying lens. The first traces of this in history go way back to when man first noticed that a little droplet of water made things underneath it look bigger. The compound microscope was the first type of microscope created, and it can be found in most schools and homes. The compound microscope can enlarge objects up to 2,000 times their original size. There's lots of kinds of microscopes. The compound microscope uses light to magnify, but there are electron microscopes, there are ultraviolet microscopes, X-ray microscopes. There are more microscopes than you could shake a microscope at. The microscope of today is very similar to the one that was designed over 400 years ago. But instead of just talking about it, what you say, you and I built one together. Cube, it's a good idea, yes? <laughs> of course, Professor. To assemble the microscope, place the cursor on top of the blinking object and click down on the left button. Then, with your fingers still down, drag the object over to the platform and release the button. And guess what? That's how you build a microscope. First, you have to bring me the body tube. That's the one that's blinking. Body tube. Next, I'll need the eyepiece. This is also called the ocular, and it goes on top of the body tube, and it will give us a magnification of 10 times. Eyepiece. Next, we need a revolving nose piece. They call it the nose piece because it goes on the front of the microscope where the nose will be. Nose piece. Next, we need our objective lenses. We'll take three of them so we can have three different powers of magnification. And they will be placed on the bottom of the revolving nose piece. Objective lens. Objective lens. Objective lens. We now have three different objective lenses that give us three powers of magnification. This first one lets us see things a hundred times bigger. The second one lets us see things 400 times bigger. And if we turn it one more time, we can see things 1,000 times bigger. Boy, that's a lot of magnification. When you look down through the ocular eyepiece, the image that you will see will be upside down and backwards. This is called inversion. If you've ever looked into the concave reflection of a dinner spoon, you can see that your face is upside down. This is what the first or objective lens does. It turns the image upside down. The ocular lens flip-flops it so that it's backwards. And that is why when you move your little slide under the microscope, you have to remember that every movement is backwards and upside down. It's confusing, but you get used to it. Okay, now we need to find the stage. Do you see where it is? Okay, drag it over here. This is where we will put our slides. Stage. Now, we have to install the stage clips. These are the clips that will hold our slide specimen flat on the stage so that it doesn't move. If it moves just a little bit, it will throw off everything. Drag it over here. 
stage clips. Just below the stage, there's a round wheel with little holes in it of all different sizes. This is the iris. Like the iris in your eye, it opens and closes to allow different amounts of light to pass through the opening. You see, it's very brilliant. It's time now to drag the mirror over to the bottom of the stage. This will allow light to be reflected up through the iris diaphragm, through the center hole, through the specimen, and eventually into your eye. Mirror. And now everything is held together, right? Now I want you to drag over what we call the course adjustment knob and the fine adjustment knob. Adjustment knobs. Now that you've built your microscope, let's see if it works. I'll just zip up here to the eyepiece. Or the ocula. <coughs> this is one big ocula, huh, Bits? Maybe I shrunk, or do you think the microscope grew? Either way, it's all relative. <laughs> now, I don't have anything to look at. Bits, do me a favor and go down to the stage and be my subject. <coughs> Bits, you have to get under the objective lens if I'm going to see you. You see? Good. Hello there, Bits. I can see that your stitches have healed very nicely. I think it's my best work, don't you? Is that a flea in your fur or a crumb of kibble? Either way, I think it's disgusting. Anyways, let's see what you look like under different powers of magnification. You have three objectives that you can choose from. 10, 40, or 100. So click on the one that you want, and then you can pick a slide from the slide tray and put that underneath and have a look. Magnified 100 times, Bits looks pretty good. Magnified 400 times, he looks even better. Magnified 1,000 times, I'm getting scared. Ah! Thank you, Bits. The microscopic objects and organisms are located in the slide box over there. All you have to do is click on one of the slide door icons that you like. You can pick either plants, animals, fiber, bacteria, protozoans, or everyday objects. Use the up and down arrows to view your choices and click the X to select the slide. It's easy, isn't it? You can view the slide under 100 magnification, 400 magnification, or 1,000 magnification just by clicking on the objective lens. When you're finished viewing the slide, just choose another one the same way. You don't have to put it back. Now, if you're doing this in real life, you always put your slides back. Click on the electron microscope icon that Factoid is holding if you want to view objects more than a 1,000 times magnification. Common. Color picture newsprint. Finger. Sponge. 20 dollar bill. Dime. Paper clip. Gravel. Penny. Sugar crystals. Dust. Salt crystals. Paramecium. Daphnia. Trypsinoma. Amoeba. Volvox. Yeah. 
Paramecium. Euglena. Bacillus chains. Silk. Cotton fiber. Linen fiber. Nylon fiber. Rayon fiber. Wool fiber. Paper fiber. Silk. Mitosis. Grantia. Ascaris. Trichinella. Snail radula. Earthworm intestine. Muscle gills. Spider. Cerebrum. Appendix. Kidney. Artery. Muscle. Blood. Drosophila chromosomes. Anabena heterocysts. Hair. Bone. Lung. Elodia leaf. Tilia. Spirogyra. Daisy. Electron microscope. Now that you have a microscope, you need something to look at. Well, don't worry. I've prepared lots of slides for you. Here's what you do. You can either look at plants, animals, viruses, bacteria, protozoans, or everyday objects. You use the up and down arrows to scroll to the selection list. When you find a slide you like, click the X, and bingo, the slide is yours. Common. Computer chip. Glucose crystals. Dust. Comet dust. Protozoa. Citrobacteri freundii bacteria. Paramic Cit Paramyxovirus. Simian varicella virus. Adenovirus. Various forms of herpes simplex virus. Various forms of ORF virus. Rio virus type. Immune electron micrograph Norwalk agent. Respiratory synctial virus. Feline leukemia virus. 
vesicular stomatitis virus, Ebola virus, Marburg virus, Mar Marburg virus, Marburg disease, Arena virus, Takarib, Coronavirus OC. Parvovirus H1. Rotavirus. Herpes simplex virus. Adenovirus. Vaccinia virus. Hepatitis B. Para-influenza virus. Measles plus SV, rubiola. La Crosse virus, Bunyamuera. Polyoma virus. Rubella virus. Yellow fever virus. Influenza, an early passage. Influenza, a late passage. Influenza C. Para-influenza virus. Rotavirus double-shelled particles. Rotavirus single-shelled particles. Poliovirus type 1. Khaleesi virus, feline. Coxsackie B virus. Mumps virus. Varicella chickenpox virus. Ant. Mosquito. Strawberry. Computer chip. Compound microscope. 